everyone, this is Coach Matt with LeapFrog Athletics. Thank you for watching my video. This week we're going to continue with our talk on stride length with tip number two. Last week in our video, we talked about the actual length of the stride. And what we learned was, is that our foot typically comes down where our opposite wrist is. So if you're someone who struggles with overstriding, the cue we gave you was to shift this wrist back and think wrist at rib cage. So if your wrist is at rib cage, your foot is always going to land under your hip and it's ready to push you forward again. This week in tip number two, we're going to talk about what happens when that foot comes off the ground. So after that foot has pushed you forward, what goes on back here? There are basically two types of runners. You have one runner who's their foot going to come up and they just kind of shuffle step. They kind of just shuffle it forward with the toe pointing forward all the way through. It's a way to run, but it's not the efficient way to run. If we think back to when we were children and we saw the cartoon The Road Runner, you saw how fast the Road Runner was. And the Road Runner had a very circular stride. What we're looking at doing is to give you the tips and tools to create that circular stride for yourself. One thing you want to consider is that after this foot pushes you forward, you want to bring the leg around, but you want to have this toe pointing down. So as you lift your foot up, you're going to lift your foot up enough to where the person behind you can see the bottom of your shoe. You're going to pull that foot through. You're going to wait for this plane to pass. Alrighty, and as you, what did I talk as you pull the foot through, as it crosses your leg, you're going to let it drop. And notice that as it drops, it's dropping in line with my hip and it's ready to push me forward again. So going over, if you're someone who shuffles when they run, what you want to think about is picking your foot up after you continue that, after you push yourself off the ground. Pick it up so the runner behind you will see the bottom of your foot and so your toe points down all the way through until it crosses your leg. Once it crosses your leg, you just drop it down. And every time you drop it down, it will be in perfect position to push you forward again. If you live local, Marco Island, Naples, Estero, Fort Myers, come to a leapfrog practice. The details are here online at the website. If not, check back to the website as we continue to upload these tips and tricks to help you become a better runner. Because at Leapfrog Athletics, we're here to help you leap the competition.